Good morning. My name is Derek Woods. I'm the East Tennessee Law Enforcement Liaison for the Tennessee Highway Safety Office. I want to welcome you here today and thank you for attending today's Safe Driving Press event. We want to thank the Carroll Police Department for hosting and allowing us to use their space. We also want to thank the Tennessee Highway Patrol and the Campbell County Sheriff's Office for their partnership as we work together to keep the roadways safe. At this time, I will introduce our first speaker, Director Buddy Lewis of the Tennessee Highway Safety Office. Thank you very much, and it's a pleasure to be with you all this morning, and I appreciate everyone being here, all the officers in the, in the back here, and the, and the media being here for this uh, important uh, message that we're going to get out this morning. Uh, my name is Buddy Lewis, and I'm the director of the Tennessee Highway Safety Office. And the purpose of today's press event is to address the recent spike in uh, Campbell County traffic fatals uh, from 2021. Our speakers today will share local crash data and safe driving tips to help prevent future traffic crashes, injuries, and fatalities. We're asking all citizens, all local citizens and members of this community to assist us in protecting the Tennessee roadways by exercising due care and, and obeying all traffic laws uh, in, 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 on the roadways in Campbell County. Winter weather may also affect driving safety across our, our roads, and it's even more important to uh, exercise safe driving during the winter months. All we ask of you is to slow down, pay attention, don't text and drive, never drink and drive, and buckle up every trip, every time. And at this time, I would like to introduce our next speaker, Captain Stacy Heatherly with the Tennessee Highway Patrol. Thank you. Thank you, Director. I am Captain Heatherly with the Tennessee Highway Patrol. I am so excited that everyone is here today. This is very exciting to have all our groups together the community together. Um, this is such an important message for us. This is what we do every single day. We're out here to save lives on the roadways of Tennessee. So the Knoxville district is no different. We wanna bring that and we wanna talk about the fatalities we have in Campbell County. Um, I want to introduce the newest public information officer in the Knoxville district. That is Trooper McKissick. <laughs> he hails from Mississippi. And I don't think you'll be able to tell by his, um, the way he talks, that he's from Mississippi, but I'll let y'all make that decision. Um, he came to the Tennessee Highway Patrol, the great state of Tennessee, to be a trooper in 2018. So, Trooper McKissick. Uh, as Captain Heatherly stated, I hail from Mississippi. My name is Clint McKissick. Um, joined the Highway Patrol, as Captain stated, in 2018. I love this place, and um, Tennessee is home to me now, just like Campbell County is home to these officers that stand behind me. I've been tasked to talk about the upspike in fatalities that we had in Campbell County. It's not an easy subject to talk about death, but is, is one that needs to be addressed. I'm gonna give you a number here shortly, but keep in mind that that is not just a number. That number reflects a family, a work colleague, and someone who lost their life in a traffic crash. 17. 17 families had to endure loss of life from a fatality in Campbell County. The reason why we're having this press conference is to get the word out that we cannot have a repeat of 2021. If you look back at our crash data, which we gather through our troopers and other agencies into our Titan system, which allows us to then break down causations, times, and areas where crashes are likely to occur. We're able to look back at 2020 and find that there was one fatality in Campbell County. Looking on further back into 2019, there were three. Again, that may just seem like a number, but think about your family members and how difficult that is for the trooper or law enforcement officer to go to the home of that individual and tell them that their loved one is never coming home. That's something that our troopers and law enforcement never forget from the time that they leave that scene conducting that investigation to the time that they meet with that family. You'll remember it the rest of your career. It's one of the hardest things that we do every day. 17 times that was done. 17 separate families, work colleagues, aunts, uncles, grandfathers, grandmothers, children. We don't want a repeat of that. 
I think we can all agree that you members of Campbell County that live in this area have made this personal for the Tennessee Highway Patrol it is personal. As my captain stated earlier, that is what we do. And we're gonna put forth every effort that we can to fight for 2022 and not have a repeat of 2021. Looking at the data, and again, I will not go over all the numbers. I don't wanna throw out a bunch of figures to you, but I do want you to hang on to that 117. Remember those families. But we're able to collect various other data from these crashes, such as causation factors, a uh, typical crash, you can list up to five separate factors that occurred, okay? And these are um, causations by the driver. I'm going to highlight some of the higher numbers. 190 times our troopers and investigation, uh, our law enforcement officers during their investigation found that there was a failure to keep in proper lane or ran off roadway. So for 190 crashes, that was a causation. So as a uh, Director Lewis stated earlier, pay attention to the roadway. Uh, some people on traffic stops will say, you know, you need to keep it between the mustard and the mayonnaise, the yellow line and the white line. 106 times for failing to yield the right of way. And 150 drivers for following improperly. That's your front and <coughs> rear crash. And if you don't think that causes a fatality, it does. At 70 miles an hour when someone stopped over a hill because there's a crash in front of them, it certainly does. So make sure you maintain a safe following distance at least one car length for every 10 miles an hour. Looking, at, looking again at those fatalities, we're further able to break down those numbers. In 2021, we lost 10 drivers, five passengers, and two pedestrians that were killed as a result of a, of a motor vehicle crash. Okay? Again, just it's not just a number, it's, it's personal, it's a family member, it's a trooper, a law enforcement officer making a notification, being on scene, seeing the devastation. You, you become very close and you never forget it. Um, with all this crash data that we have, we, we make that available to you, the media. Uh, feel free to reach out to me, uh, Captain Heatherly, any of the other PIOs. Um, if you'll remember, there was for a long time, troopers wore a pin on their shirt that said zero. That signified zero fatalities. Some of y'all may think that's an impossible goal, but that is something that the Tennessee Highway Patrol along with these officers here will strive for every day, okay? And you know, you may think that's impossible, but if I told you there was a trooper who took a shovel and shoveled out cars on I-75, total of 14, while the snow was pouring down, you may think that's impossible, but it was done and that's what we're gonna to continue to do. With that, I also have a fatality operation plan that was done by um, Lieutenant Will Bruce and Captain Heatherly. And you have Sergeant Rex Bailey and Sergeant Paul Clendenin, who's not here, that are gonna be leading the charge on that. Using that data that we have, we are able to find areas in the county where crashes are likely to occur, even times. Now, this system is not perfect but it at least gives us the opportunity to point our troopers in the right direction so that we can make the biggest impact. And that's what they've done. Throughout the year, they will be holding saturations that will include careless driving, driving without driving, not driving with due care, speeding, seatbelt enforcement, as well as distracted driving enforcement. All of those Checkpoints that will be coming up through the year are available on our website or you can reach out to myself or any of the PIOs and we can get that information to you. That is posted online. We will continue our efforts to aggressively seek out impaired drivers on Tennessee's roadways. And in closing, I would like to encourage, just as Director Buddy Wolf said, um, wear your seatbelt. Put down your cell phone while you're driving. Maintain a safe following distance behind the vehicle in front of you. Slow your speed. And by all means, speak with your family. Speak with your coworkers and colleagues. These are the people that you, that you care about. And it may just take you speaking to them. That's why this press conference is so important. We can't do this alone. We need the help of the public. We need the media behind us. We need to get the word out. Do these things. And putting on your seatbelt is very simple, but it can make a big difference. With that, I'll turn it back over to uh, Derek, 
Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. At this time, I want to introduce the Campbell County Sheriff's Office, Captain J.J. Hatmaker. Thank you, Derek. Uh, thank you, Steve. Director Lewis, I appreciate it. Uh, Sheriff Goins uh, was scheduled to be here today, but uh, uh, with sadness, he has uh, uh, had to face the pandemic everybody's been facing today. Uh, him and Chief Deputy Lawson are both uh, waiting out some quarantine times, but they send everybody their best and, and uh, they're sorry they couldn't be here today. Uh, that being said, uh, Sheriff Goins and uh, the entire Sheriff's Office would like to thank our partners of the Highway Safety Office, uh, our local partners as well, for their continued support uh, in efforts to keep Tennessee Roadway safe. Our department couldn't do what we do without the support of fine individuals at the Highway Safety Office. Uh, anything we ask them to go above and beyond um, to try to provide whatever uh, we ask for, whether it be training, equipment, connecting us with other business partners, um, you name it, all in an effort to keep Tennessee visitors and drivers safe. Our office has been a long time partner with the Highway Safety Office. Uh, for more than a decade now, uh, we've worked side by side with uh, THSO and other agencies in an effort to protect drivers and passengers and the general public on Tennessee roadways. Uh, we're honored to work with such a great group of individuals from our local municipalities, uh, other county agencies, Captain Heatherly's THP division, and of course our partners at LA, uh, THSO. Uh, our LEL, Derek Woods, our former LEL, Steve Dillard, and all the LELs prior to them have took great steps in ensuring the public safety on Tennessee roadways. Uh, they continue to give us support anytime we ask for it. Uh, on a daily basis, this cooperation of agencies, uh, in my opinion, makes Tennessee's roadways some of the safest in the nation. Um, the information and data gathered uh, through the use of Titan and the Highway Safety Office and the THP is invaluable to protect our roadways and make them safer in, in our systems. With the THSO support of the Sheriff's Office, uh, as well as its surrounding agencies, uh, are able to take a more aggressive approach to remove unsafe drivers from the highway. Whether the issue is uh, drivers under the influence, speeding, or something as simple as reminding everybody to buckle up. Um, those efforts, or at least most of them, would not be possible without the support we receive from the Highway Safety Office. Uh, in closing, we're proud to be a part of this organization. Uh, again, Sheriff Owens wishes he could be here. Uh, he sends everybody his best, hopes everybody stays safe and healthy through this trying time. Uh, thank Chief Keaton for letting us use this facility today. Again, thank you. Please, everybody, drive safely and remember to buckle up. Thank you. I'll turn it back over to Derek Woods. I want to thank uh, each of our speakers for their involvement and focus on what we can do together uh, to make beautiful Camel County safe for everyone traveling on the roadways. As we have been very clear on our intentions, we also we want to be very clear it takes everyone to make possible the roadways safe in Campbell County and this great state. Drive safe, buckle up, don't speed, don't drive distracted, and please don't drive in power. Thank you.